Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Me and Bean are working and watching. I just finished the latest. Where is the? There we go. The latest episode of Real Housewives of Potomac. Girl, actually is messy AF. She know good and well. It's sad. Like that's the prime example of somebody being miserable in their relationship and trying to deflect on yours. Is that how I go? They're trying to deflect and make it seem like, no, not deflect. Is it deflect or project their relationship issues or marital issues onto yours? They need to leave Chris alone. Granted, Chris probably isn't somebody DMs. Who knows? But really, you was just at the girl house eating sushi and charcuterie, sipping on some wine you gonna crack my bottle of wine open, pour it in your glass, and not have enough decency to text me or call me after the fact and let me know that my husband was doing X, Y, and Z. You wanna wait till we on camera in front of the rest of these ladies to bring up some BS? Girl, and then the comment about something about the needle being turned or something like that. Girl, you couldn't wait for somebody else to share your misery with you. Y'all gotta be careful who you share your marital issues or whatever it is with because that's some BS. That's why I don't talk about my business. I don't like talking about my business because, or being vulnerable with other people because you're not gonna use something against me later. I, I, anyways, now that I've caught up with that, I'm about to watch Catch Up on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm on episode. Five of season 12. I got a sign for something, please. Oh, that was UPS, but it's Madison's um, nursery shelves. Ooh, it's dark. It's her nursery shelves. Girl, I ran out of breath trying to carry me the, the thing and beans thing up here. Let me see it. I don't know why this box all beat up like this though. Y'all been trying to get laundry done Bye. and work at the same time. Oh, wait, look at the I just said this is. I see she just. This is just hot. Mommy, don't stop. Stop. Mama. All right, Benny, back up. These are damaged. Being mad because I took the camera. Um, yeah, I don't know how these go, and uh, quite frankly. <laughs> Not terrible, y'all. Let me stop being dramatic. I'm about to see if I can put these together. I call y'all back. Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. So, guess what? We are sitting outside of Michael's right now because I'm on the hunt for another Christmas tree. Um, originally, I was only going to do the one Christmas tree. Well, originally, 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 I was supposed to do five Christmas trees this year. That that has always been my plan. But then I was like, I'm only going to do three Christmas trees. And then I said two Christmas trees. Long story short. We got down to one. Now I'm back up to two. Hopefully they have some in stock. If they don't, I'm gonna go buy Hobby Lobby after I go to Target. Cause I'm taking back the Christmas trees that I showed y'all that I had the kids. When I realized it was twenty dollars and I get can get a three foot tree for sixteen ninety nine at Michaels, I was like, absolutely not. But I hope everybody's having a grand Saturday so far. It's a little, it's almost 9 30, so your girl is up and at it because normally I'd be in the bed, but y'all, I've been up since like four o'clock this morning. I have not taken my CBD in the last two days. Don't ask me why, but I'm thrilled. So, anyways, let's go. What time was that when I told y'all? 9 30. It's almost 11 30. Listen. <laughs> Why is a picture in my car? That's not what I was out here for. But I did give me a Christmas tree. I did find me 
some garland that was a little bit darker because I didn't really like the light garland. But we're going to see. We're going to see. So I see y'all when we get to the house. All right, y'all. I'm back from the store. About to show y'all what I got from Target and then Home Goods. You okay? All right, so I got these faux stems. Y'all know I showed y'all some that's in my dining room right now. They were $15. These are only $9.99. These are cedar stems. Other ones that are in my dining room are actually sold out online and in store. So these are the next best thing. So I'm getting, I got these because I think I might be putting something on my countertop in addition to this. I don't know yet, don't hold me to it, but um, I got those. And then y'all know we got our coffee mug. I'm about to fix me some coffee now. Normally I make us wait until Christmas to use our coffee mugs, but I was like, it doesn't make sense to use these for one day. So we're gonna use these up until Christmas. So I got Bean this little sippy cup. <sighs> I thought it was so cute and it's a black Santa Claus so that she could fit in with us. So I'll put her some almond milk in here whenever we do our stuff. And then um, I want us to bake cookies today. So I got just these, I was gonna do it from scratch, but I was like, I'm being overly ambitious. So I got these. I also normally make my icing from scratch, but I just got this vanilla icing. It's whipped, the kids like it, that's all that matters. And I also got, I don't know why I ain't put all this stuff over here. Just a combination of sprinkles for them to decorate with. I got these two little things for them to decorate with. I also got two cans of cinnamon rolls cause I wanna do the cinnamon rolls with the heavy whipping cream. I'll show y'all what they look like this time because I just left y'all hanging. I got some hash browns. I'm about to make some eggs, spicy sausage, uh, cinnamon rolls, and hash browns. That might be a ghetto breakfast to some, but it's gonna be good to me. I also got these little name tags to put on the Christmas stockings. I was gonna order them off of Etsy, but I was being impatient. So I was like, I want something now. I also got a socks. So I got on my pajamas. This is what they look like. I got, excuse the water on the floor. I got these socks from H, not H&M. What are, what are they called? Um, Old Navy, I went by Old Navy because I realized I forgot to buy the socks. My husband, I had to get him a t-shirt to go with his. He has the flannel pajamas like this. Mine came with all of these socks. And then, for my husband, I just got these green socks. Instead of getting us cozy socks, because I feel like, no. And then I got the kids cozy socks. This is what theirs look like, and Bean also has some. So I got these like non-slip ones. So let me show y'all this painting. First of all, I gotta show y'all, hold on real quick, y'all. Please hold. Okay, I'm back. So let me show y'all my inspo picture. I seen this on Instagram and there's it's the account that's off, that i follow somewhere lately they do fashion but their houses are just so nice and unique i might have talked about them before they have something that a diy diy art that they did um and then i seen this one this one is like can y'all see that thousands of dollars i was like maybe i can just make it let me show y'all what i just found at home goods for 120 dollars <laughs> Tell me this is not some cute abstract art. If you say it ain't cute, you a hater because this is cute. Like it's like, I could totally have my kids make this because it's literally somebody just slathering paint on a canvas. But it's nice. I got it for the dining room because I'm trying to bring more black in here like I told y'all. So these two pictures right here will end up coming down. But look at, this and this. Why they match? Why do they match? Anyways, the plan ooh, is to put this over here. So it's supposed to be hung straight, but obviously that space does not fit for a straight picture. So we're removing this one. I'm either gonna turn this one sideways so it actually takes up more of the space over here, or I'm planning on putting it on top of this and just leaning it. I had told my husband I wanted to strip this sideboard down and paint it matte black, but it actually might work out to where I don't have to do that. I just feel like I kind of want to break up some of the neutral, whatever this is, this color in here. 
Um, and I feel like I can do that by painting this and then also potentially painting that over there. So we'll see. But anyways, y'all, I'm finna start getting the breakfast ready. Um, and then I'll show y'all what the Christmas tree looks like that I just got from home with. So. Sitting here looking like a little boy y'all took my uh my clip-ins out again i think i'm gonna wash my hair and go make natural but i could be lying so anyways the house is still a mess it's gonna be my goal i'm gonna make myself a to-do list it's my goal to get my house that looking the way that it needs to look now that the christmas tree is up we made some changes in here but i love it i'm gonna show y'all that in a minute but y'all yesterday was a struggle i was like I went from a 10 yesterday morning, like, so we get to put on our gifts and CJs and stuff, to like a seven to a zero. To the point where I was like, I don't even want to decorate for Christmas anymore. I'm not in the holiday spirit. I don't want to do this. And my husband was like, girl, sit down somewhere. So after I ate, I went back up to a five and then we just got it done. So I was like, I don't know. One of y'all was telling me, was it Instagram or in the comment section? One of y'all was, was saying that y'all were struggling too with decor. Do you want y'all tell me that? Or trying to figure, anyways, my house, it's a mess. It's a mess. So I decided not to use this garland from Target. It's still really nice, but like I told y'all, was it the last walk? Yep, yeah, it's just too light. I want it to be greener. So I will show y'all my little hack that I did. It's probably not a hack, but it's a hack to me, okay? 
So this is a 10 foot one that I just ordered, hence the Target box right there. So I'm taking that back along with the other two that's right there. My dining room table is not as messy as it was. Oh, we have another tree. I have so much to show y'all. I'm so excited now that it's finally done. But um, I better make myself a to-do list because I have a lot that I'm trying to get accomplished. I have seen your items because in my mind, my head, in my mind, it's the holidays, so I don't really have to work, which that's not a true statement. But for some reason, I'm just, I don't know. And then I showed y'all a picture of um, like uh, Jack Daniels ingredients. I'm finna wash your hair. Um, it was so good. It tastes like. You want to see the people? Did them hey. See, I had on some Christmas socks today, guys. And my mom is about to wash and comb my hair. Then we can go to my sister's tuning in game. But yeah, um, those cinnamon rolls turned out so good. But it was so many of them, and we were just like snacking. We didn't even get to the cookie. So we'll do that another day. There'll be plenty of whatever so anyways i'm about to make myself a to-do list so i can make sure i stay in order okay keep the anxiety at bay okay so i'm gonna show you all the christmas stuff after i get some of my non-existent or not written down tasks done we'll talk to you guys in a few so do y'all know jaleesa yvonne um i follow her on her instagram and on youtube but she posted this little, it's called Shampoo Tom. It's like this little, it literally, literally looks like a gymnastics bar or something like that. But it's basically like a little mat and bar that you can lay the kid, the child on, toddler, kid, whatever. And they're comfortable while you, did I already tell y'all this? Anyways, I'm about to put it together so I can wash Miss Bean's hair. When I wash your hair in the bathtub, it doesn't go well at all. It does not go well at all. I tried when I got up this morning. I stretch, baby. I stretch like Apple can go to H E double L with that screen time. I don't know. Can't I probably could stop it from doing it, but oh, it's very easy. You just and then you can adjust the bar. It has like how many is it? Three settings? Miss Maria is very tiny, so I'm putting it. Um, what the heck? You don't want to go to the last one. Do I have a defective? Girl. All right, shampoo time now. It's like it's on both sides. Whatever. Obviously, that means I'm doing something wrong. It is equally acting up. Don't touch my camera. Hi. Hey. Oh this is your ball. So, sit down. So, they lay down like this. And they'll be all the way up like that. Hanging over the... Uh, the sink and then it has a strap where you can strap them in so they don't try to get up and leave and then it comes with this little thing that you hang right there that will hold your phone but i'm not putting that above my child's head them iphones hurt when they fall anyways i just wanted to share that with y'all i'm gonna put it up on the counter i'm gonna let y'all see what it look like
Okay, y'all. So I wanted to show y'all the update with the tree decorated. It looks just like it did last year. We haven't put the tree topper on yet, but this is what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty. Let me turn it on for y'all. Get a full of fight. Y'all can't really see it, but there's the light. Those are the lights shimmering. And these are my new little. I need to move this one right here. Please hold. I think that will look better there. All right, y'all. So, um, I just separated those two. So, all of my, this one's kind of low. All of my breakable um, ornaments I had to put at the top because Bean was already trying to, like, pull stuff off of the Christmas tree. So, if it looks like, girl, why didn't you put any of the checkered ones or those, like, around here? That's the reason why. And then I put this back how it was. So y'all know before we did any decorations, this was always on that side and this was here, but with a different book and a vase instead of the reindeer. So I think this looks better because it's smaller to larger. Anyways, I also made these name tags last night. These are the little bell things I got from the dollar spot. Well, they were only $3. They were where the, um, where the Christmas decor is. Um, so they were $3 for four, I think. And then these are the green mini stockings that I got from Target last year. I just stuffed them inside for decor purposes. But obviously, whenever it's time to stuff the stockings, I'll remove them out. Um, but yeah, and then I had this green ribbon from Christmas last year I got from Home Goods. So that's that. I was going to order name tags off of Etsy, but they had these little cardboard looking ones at Target for like tags for presents. And I just wrote each of their names on there. Um... And then up here, this is the new garland. I need to remove the tags and stuff, but guess what this is? Let me give y'all a moment to guess. These are individual stems that I turned into a garland because I wanted the garland that looked like this. I think it's cedar or cypress, something. I wanted garland that looked like this, but Amazon, the one I had in my cart got sold out. Um, the one that is a garland that looks like this at Target sold out. You can't find Jack Squat anywhere. And I don't want to pay $100 for, I think it's like a six foot one at Crate and Barrel. So anyways, these are the $10 ones that I showed y'all the other day. And then these are the $5 ones that I actually have in a vase on the other side. So I pretty much just layered them on top of each other until I got the effect that I wanted. I like it. I like, I love how it turned out. I'll probably continue to do this every single year. Y'all know I'll probably change it next year. But this is what that looks like. And then over here, it's the same as the other side. I just stuck that Merry Christmas thing. So it's really like simple. It ain't a whole bunch going on. Shar recommended that I put pine cones in here. So that's what I'll probably do. Because those aren't something that she can break or eat. Well, she might try to eat them. But I don't think she's going to like how they taste. So yeah, I like... I love the way that the living room looks. I know one of y'all had mentioned that y'all felt like the tree should be bigger. Um, it could potentially be bigger, but I like the way it looks. Our living room is not that big, y'all. But we also wanted to make sure we had space over here because to put gifts and then when we come down in the morning, on Christmas morning, we'll be able to sit over here. So I did entertain the thought of buying ooh, shit, that hurt. another one of these to put right there. I might do that next year. This year I didn't because I was not about to go and buy more ornaments to go on the other tree. So this is the living room. Let me go show y'all the dining room. All right, my dining room is somewhat clean. Once we get the exterior done, it'll be a lot better. But anyways, um, my tree skirt is in the basement. So it's like white with gold and silver polka dots. Hold on, let me plug it in for y'all. So this tree is more sparkly. I didn't want to have the exact same decorations. So all of my gold and tan-ish or cream, I guess you could say, ornaments that I did put on the, that Christmas tree last year. Um, that tree in the that's in the living room this year, it had way more ornaments last year, but I saved them for this. Why is this not focusing? Yeah, so. And I'll, I have like my acrylic and glass ornaments right there so I'm not planning on doing like a lot of focus over here I can be lying I might 
So I just wanted to set up like a cute little arrangement, but I think it looks really good. And instead of a star, I just did my little nugget things. I got these from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. Ew, I don't remember a long time ago, but I love those. So, so I need to um put my set up my exterior front door decor together so I can see what I really want to do. Look at this. You want to show them your hair, Newt? She said, "Leave me alone." I'll secretly show y'all. She got her some ponytails today, girl. That's not a baby, that's a reindeer. Leave it alone. Hey friends, happy Monday. So, clearly I didn't upload a video yesterday. I don't even know why I come on here to tell y'all I didn't upload a video when it's obvious at this point. But why did I wake up feeling sick this morning? Like WTF, I feel better. I took some DayQuil, but um, we got some people outside right now giving us a quote on, you know, the lights that like illuminate on the house. So I think I, did I mention to y'all? I think I edited that part out. Anyways, they were doing our neighbor's house, the Christmas lights on the outside. And they gave us, it was actually a really decent quote compared to the quote that I got last year. You know, I was telling y'all they quoted like $5 a foot, which is insane. But um, they also do like the exterior lights that like illuminate on the house. So your outside of your house is like lit up. Not Christmas lights, but y'all know what I'm saying. So I was like, well, it was one of those things where it's like, I can pay X amount of dollars to have something that's temporary, i.e. Christmas lights. And then I can pay this amount to have permanent lights that we actually want. So we're trying to be more conscious of what we're spending out on like home updates and stuff like that, because we really want to start, we want really want to get started on our basement. So we're trying to like plan out our purchases as opposed to me just being like, I want a bench for my entryway. Let me just go buy it. That don't mean I'm not gonna still do that, but I am trying to be better about it. So anyways, we're gonna quote for that. But yes, back to what I was saying. I don't know why I always do this. But yes, yesterday I started getting like body aches and stuff and I was like, dang, I really hope I'm not catching the flu or something. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. But I took some ibuprofen yesterday and then I felt fine. I was able to get on with my day. And then last night before bed, the eggs came back. So I'm like, so I took some DayQuil, excuse me. I've been sitting in front of my fireplace because I'm freezing. It's almost like I have chills. So I'm trying to nip it in a bud because is it bud or butt? Whatever it is, I'm trying to nip it. Cause I just, I don't want to be sick and I don't want to get my kids sick. I don't want any of that happening. So. Anyways, um, I feel better right now. I'm still like lounging. I'm tired and I got some good sleep last night. So, <laughs> girl, and I have not edited this video that y'all watching. Obviously at this point it's edited cause y'all are watching it, but I haven't, I have lip chapstick all over me. I'm trying to debate if I want to schedule for me a hair appointment, but I don't want to book one and then I'm not feeling well and I can't go. Girl. Sorry, it's just a mess. So, anyways, I wanted to uh, have the kids decorate their Christmas trees so that I can show y'all what those look like, but they're gonna end up being on another video. Oh, let me show y'all some stuff real quick. Please help. All right, so we made, I don't think this is staying like this. Last night, I was like, y'all know my husband is back down here working. I don't wanna show his computer screen. So, <laughs> Maddie was like, you need to get out of my room because it'd be messy at the end of the day. You got cups and everything else. So the guest bedroom is back how it used to be. I still, I think I'm going to do the L-shaped curtain rod in here. Um, I think that makes more sense to me getting individual curtain rods to go over there. But I put these back like this. If I could, I would get rid of these chairs, but whatever. There's currently nothing on the bed right now, but this is how I have it set up. I could bring the other nightstand up here and put it right there, but I feel like it would just be too crowded. So the textured picture that I got, I may potentially put it in here on the what's the name. Um, and I haven't decided if I want to just sell the complete set, the dresser and the two nightstands, and then just get smaller nightstands to go on each side um, or what. But this, this plant will still stay, this bed will still stay. I need to get a new comforter set to go in here. I threw out the one that I already had. And then this um, desk will eventually 
go away once we start doing what we need to do in the basement. I need to get a rug to go in here. I want to do abstract art up there. Um, I'm just ready to get this room like final. This room has gone through so many different stages, if y'all know. So yeah, the theme in here is still black and cream. Um, I just need to get a rug and stuff to go in there. But I feel like that's the best layout of that room in there. Oh my gosh, my hair looks a mess. Um, who was that? Singer Jekyllin Carr releases his single Great Christmas. I bet that sounds good. But look at the vibe. I don't know why my husband got us watching the news. I hate watching the news now. Those University of Virginia students who got killed by a black, I think former black athlete. That's so sad. It always makes me anxious during the holidays because I feel like it's always bad. I mean, it's, it's always bad stuff happening year round, but it, it's, it's more sad to me whenever it happens around the holidays. So I get really anxious. Um, I don't really like watching the news around this time. But anyways, um, I forgot what I was about to show y'all. This little girl got a hold of candy and she's eating it and I'm not even gonna wrestle her on it. I'm not, whatever. Let me start editing this video so I can see, I don't even know at this point what's in it. <laughs> and then I'll come back and close it. Y'all pray for me though. Pray for me. Because we were right upon the holidays and I need to feel like myself. So y'all know how I was telling y'all that we were getting a quote for the lights outside. Apparently I misspoke. This man done already told him to do it. So that's what they've been out there doing. All oh, morning. I don't know. Oh, hold on y'all. Look girl. What what is it with you on your hand or your hip? Who who was you watching? It she knows how to open the doors now. Now we gotta lock the door so she she won't get out or come in. My husband is downstairs trying to work and he has to lock himself in the room so that she won't come in. Last week he was on a call and she walked in there and started talking. Anyways, so one of y'all had commented on, um, or maybe y'all messaged me over on Instagram. I can never remember. But y'all mentioned that, yeah, come on, let's go put it in the trash. You want to do it? Come on. Okay, good job. She be clapping for herself. She said, give me my flowers. Come on. All right, so I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, them folks outside. Uh, why they got a microwave plugged in? to my outlet on my porch so they can microwave whatever food it is that they gotta eat i said you know what i can't even be mad at you y'all saving money anyways so one of y'all had commented sent me a message something and said that etsy had cloud shelves on there that would look good in maddie's room and i was like oh my gosh it's such a good idea well we was in target yesterday They had two, but one of them looks like they were open and return. So I'm gonna take this out really quick to see what it looks like over there. And we'll install it for the next video. I don't feel like doing it on this one. And I also still need to do Kenzie's curtains, y'all. It's a idiot, what a deal. It's like, girl, you need to focus on one thing at a time. Listen, mind your business. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I feel like all we need is two of these. One, yes, one, two. <gasps> Y'all, I would have never thought of this. So whoever it was, please comment and tell me so that I can give you a shout out because I love this way better than the other shelves. And maybe that's the reason why they didn't work out. So I could do this. Yay, I'm so excited. I think these are too heavy for me to try and hang with command strips. I'm gonna have to drill these on, but I need to make sure that I drill them properly. So that they don't, y'all hear that noise? 
get damage. This is pillow art. I'll link it for anybody who's interested. Aww. Oh, the update. <laughs> I took the wreath down. I think I'm gonna use it on my front porch because the wreath that I had last year is a flocked wreath and I don't think I wanna do anything flocked on the outside. But one of y'all had commented and said it was too crowded up here, which I had already mentioned myself that if I left that right there, then I would have to get rid of this. I was just like, I'm not gonna worry about doing anything major up here. I'll just end up um, maybe putting some stuff on the shelf and just calling it. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to um, go fix myself some more tea finish editing the rest of this video and do my work for my nine to five. I'm pretty sure y'all like, when do you work? I be working, y'all. I be working, so. Anyways, I, I need to go kill off whatever this is because my body's starting to ache. So I guess my medicine is wearing off, I don't know. But I'll see y'all either Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday. Sorry, schedule's off, but ooh, they're finished with all lights, y'all heard that? All right, I'll talk to y'all later. See y'all later this week.